boys and girls. We are getting ready to do our very first painting project. Our painting project is a painting inspired by a painter called Georgia O'Keeffe. And I have a book by her. She actually did this book with another artist. But Georgia O'Keeffe is really well known, especially for her flower pictures that she painted really close up. Today, however, we will do a different kind of painting she also did, and that is of landscapes. So here's a painting that will remind you a little bit about um, what we will do today. It's called Red Hills with Sun. Um, you can see the sun is going down behind the hills. Ours is called Evening Star, which is also will also show the sun. And notice those circles that the sun is uh, showing or that you see around the sun. Just keep that in mind for your artwork today. Here's another one. Um, oh, I can't find it right now. That shows the sun going down behind hills right here you can see hills in the foreground and then the sun or maybe it's the clouds sitting in the background all right so what i need you to do is have ready a white piece of paper a pencil open your watercolor paints have a glass of water and also maybe a paper towel for a blotter okay uh, remember, you can pause your video at any time to do each step. So we will start with um, sketching what we will paint as step two. So the first thing we'll do is it's called evening star and it's the sun that is the star. So you want to start sketching a round circle for the sun and you think about um, your paper divided in four parts like a four square and draw a circle right in the middle of the first square so maybe right about here all right now we're going to draw three more circle lines around that sun leave plenty of room don't draw too close so there is one two and then I will just draw the third line right about here so now the Sun think about the evening Sun it's going down um, on the horizon which is the line you see when you look out over the water and now we will draw water the Sun is going down on the water which we will see here in the Bay Area so I will draw this wavy line for the water. And then I will draw another wavy line below that and a third line below that. And now I'm finished sketching. So you can put your pencil away. All right, today we will work with water paints. Water paints need water. So there's no water in the paints themselves. So what you'll do is dip your paintbrush, make it nice, and I call this juicy, it shouldn't be dry, right? And now the first thing I'm gonna do is paint my sun. For the sun, you wanna use the warm colors, which are right here. And for the water part, you wanna use your cool colors. And then you can decide how you want to do the background. All right, I will start with the very inner circle and you see I dip my paintbrush into the water and I go around and around to load, I call that, to load my paintbrush, making it nice and juicy. So hold the paintbrush close to the middle and, oh, there was some green inside of that, it's all right and I will fill in the circle. So I outline and fill. Now I wanna change colors. Watch how I um, 
clean my brush. I will put it all the way to the bottom, scrub it carefully, and now when I lift it up, I dab it on the inside. Do not do this. The water will spray everywhere. Clean and dab. And don't make it too dry because now I want to use another warm color. So I want it swirl around in my color so it gets nice and juicy. All right, and I'm gonna do my second warm color. And watercolors, when they, and if it's dry, you just get some more paint. And watercolors, the more water you use, the lighter it gets. The less water you use, the darker the paints. All right. So now I am going to clean my brush, dab it, and take another warm color, swirl it around. And this time I have two more warm colors. I will use lots of water to make it a light red, kind of pinkish. And now I, my, my brush is getting dry. Add a little bit more water, a little bit more paint. See how I kind of lean my paintbrush? It's getting dry. Add a little bit more water, a little dab more paint. Fill in this circle. All right. That's Bella, my dog. All right, and last but not least, now I'm gonna make this last circle a little darker red. Maybe I'll actually decide, maybe I will use some purple for that. So I'm gonna clean my brush. You don't wanna mix it in the paints. And I believe this is my purple. So I'm just gonna go right over it and do a purple. All right, Georgia O'Keeffe is also known to really use bright colors. So I'm going to let you be your artist for your evening sun and choose how you want to do your sun. It's really up to you. The sun is a warm planet, so you wanna definitely use some warm colors, but how you do it is up to you. All right, here's my sun, and now I'm going to get ready to do my water and the background. And I, you might want to start with blue, then you might wanna use some green, maybe some other dark, maybe another, maybe a purple color to do your stripes. And then make sure you use a different color to show the background, it's the sky. So what color might the sky be? It might be orange. It might be very light blue. It is up to you. So make sure you paint all the different parts of your picture for this evening star. Um, there should not be any white left. And most of all, have a lot of fun painting.